Welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. I'm your host Jack and this is yet another video of how to use Photoshop Elements. What I wanted to teach you in this particular episode is how you will take with the new Photoshop Elements 9 how you will actually take your pictures and easily transfer those into the new organizer from your iPhoto if you wish to do that. I know a lot of you probably have your iPhoto set up. You probably have all your albums built. Well, it makes it really nice that we can now transfer all that work that we did into the new Photoshop Elements 9 Organizer. But before we get started, just take a look here at jackstechcorner.com. That's jackstechcorner.com. And check out the DVD selections I have for you. If you want to learn more about Photoshop Elements, then pick up one of these copies of this DVD. This uh, three volume set is the best value naturally. Um, you get three uh, a three volume set so you have 112 great videos of how to use your Photoshop elements and it actually uh, covers all of the other three DVDs. Or you can buy them one at a time however you wish to do that. Um, if you just want to donate to the show just simply click on donate and help us out here to purchase all this new Photoshop Elements software. I'm not supported by Adobe. I'm here to basically help you. Uh, so that's how that works. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with this particular lesson on how we import from iPhoto. Now this is on your Mac. How we're going to report uh, import from your iPhoto into your new organizer. So let's go ahead and start this lesson. So this is the new organizer, which is the first time uh, Adobe Elements or Adobe has ever released an organizer for the Mac. We've always relied on iPhoto, and I've done a lot of videos for you uh, on that. Or you can uh, also look at the DVD if you uh, want to learn some more stuff about your iPhoto. Look at the DVD I created, uh, Elements for the Mac. So you might want to take a peek at that. But uh, on this particular version, we will simply uh, bring this up. And what you'll do is you're going to go to File, and then we're just simply going to go to Get Photos and Videos. And if you look here, you could do From Camera, like always, Files and Folders, if you should have them there, by searching, if you want to search for a particular picture, or look from iPhoto. We'll just click on iPhoto. Now, there's a lot of options here. If you just click on Import, it's going to import everything you have from iPhoto and put that right in directly into uh, your organizer. But if you click on this more options here, we can do it by events or we can do it by albums. I like to uncheck this and we're just going to do a particular album. So I unchecked right here at the top and now here's all my iPhoto albums. And what we're going to do here, we'll just grab one of the newer ones I have here. Um, well, let's see what we'll grab. How about this uh, Carnegie Museum? So I'll just select Carnegie Museum, that photo album in iPhoto, and we'll simply click on Import. And what it's doing right now, it's working on actually importing that album into our new iPhoto or into our new Photoshop Elements Organizer. And you can see there it's very fast. And here it is. Now it's adding the imported media to a folder. And I can show you where those folders are kept at. You can click this don't show again once you get everything imported. Just click OK here. Now look up here. The album is already built. Here's my uh, my first one I created was Wings Over Pittsburgh. And now here's the second one, Carnegie Museum. And here is the museum pictures. All imported for us and ready to do whatever we, else we want to do with that. And we're going to talk more later about the organizer. I've done a lot of videos on the organizer in... Um, Volume 1 of my DVDs, and a lot of those are on YouTube. If you go back through my channel, you'll find those. Go back to some of the very first videos I did, and uh, there's a lot of uh, great topics there about the organizer. 
So folks, I hope you've enjoyed on how easy it is to pull your iPhoto albums into your new Photoshop Elements 9 Organizer on your Mac. And again, if you want the Organizer, you're going to have to upgrade and buy version 9. Uh, is there any great benefits between the two, either using iPhoto or using the Organizer? There's really not. Um, it's just another way to organize your pictures. There is a couple extra um, features, I guess, built into this, but nothing too extravagant that we don't have in iPhoto. So it's totally up to you if you want to upgrade to this version. I did want to show you before I leave, uh, if you go under your uh, pictures folder, you'll see here now under pictures there is a file folder called Adobe. If you go under here, you go under Organizer, External Library Media. Now yours could be called anything depending on what your iPhoto library is called. And then this is where it actually brings the pictures into. Here's my originals. Here's the Carnegie Museum that I just pulled in. And we have a bunch of these. Here's more of them. And it just pulls all those pictures right into there. I just wanted to show you where it keeps them. So it's going to end up, it looks like, um, I was hoping it would make like a, a marker to my library. Here's my external library is what I just happened to call my iPhoto library. I used to keep it on a separate, uh, a separate external hard drive. Um, I no longer do that now with a terabyte, a terabit drive in my computer. I don't have to worry about that. So, um, But there you go. It does make a copy of that. I'd rather have it make pointers to those pictures in here instead of copying them again here because now we got them here and here. Uh, you're going to start to fill your hard drive up very fast. So decide on one organizer, and I'm sure you'll be very happy. Well, thanks again for watching uh, Jack's Tech Corner. Again, check out the uh, website, jackstechcorner.com, for great uh, tutorials, a very uh, large selection of uh, video DVDs there for you. Go ahead and pick one of those up today. You'll be happy you did tomorrow. So have a great uh, day whenever you're watching this. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed to my videos. And I'll see you back here next time on Jack's Tech Corner. Bye for now.